Hey everybody, it's Coach Richard Wharton here at OnlineBikeCoach.com and today I just want to give a quick shout out to my client Ken and sort of talk about what we did together this morning and how it can apply to you and honestly how we can apply it to Exert. Um, Ken posted something on the Facebook forum uh, for the Exert users talking about, uh, you know, he the coaching and the and the coach client relationship and how that kind of works and you know I really appreciate that because one of the things that we have to remember is the goal is in, in, a, in a workout is not always to go get a smashing breakthrough alright yeah we can schedule it but we can't account for uh, biorhythms or sleep patterns or outside stress in the life or just about any of that stuff and so what we have to think about is what's going to create the greater good would we like to get a breakthrough of course we'd like to get a breakthrough but if we can't get a breakthrough do we just quit the workout maybe maybe not let's take a look at what we did together and maybe that can apply to you I'm also going to show you another client from the exact same workout and how she did the exact same thing. Here's Ken's workout. And I got up at around 4.30 in the morning or 4 o'clock in the morning. He's three hours ahead of me. I spotted him through it on Zoom. And what you see is, specifically looking at the MPA, we went through, these are Biot 3030s, we went through a series of intervals that were right in his uh, what I'm going to call his yellow wheelhouse, his yellow uh, threshold wattage wheelhouse. Now, do they look yellow? No. That's something that I honestly, I don't have any control over that. I wish it would look yellow, but it's yellow orange, whatever. But if we look at the MPA specifically, what we see is this. We've got a nice, slight, steady decay if we add heart rate, we've got a nice, slight, steady growth. And we're seeing a suppression of MPA. And if we think about the purpose of intervals, the, the, the most simple purpose of an interval is to create enough stress and strain that we get a physiological uh, uh, effect. And it does not have to be a breakthrough type of workout. Now, were we trying to get a breakthrough? Yes, but his head was everywhere. He's got, he's got a, 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 you know, again, none of us, not even myself, none of us are getting paid to ride our bikes. And if we are, it's not adequate, okay? We got to find a way to pay the bills, which is, mean, which is why I'm going to be stacking groceries here in a little bit. But what I'm getting at is, this was a suppressed MPA. We did enough of them that we thought it might be appropriate to go for and challenge a depressed MPA and a breakthrough. So for the next several intervals, you can see the intensity on the wattage went up. These are my favorite wattage. They're much better than smart intervals. I don't care what anybody says. You want to start, you want to bank it, and then spend it and you can see the corresponding dive in MPA all right now on the three or four where he came really really close that's great but now let's add heart rate all right the guy is up at about 98 or 99 97 or 98 percent of his maximum heart rate he's cooked Okay, these are hard. These, you know, there, there's, there's, a, there's, again, there's things going on in his life that do not account for a fresh pair of legs and a strong recovered heart. So we get close and we try and we fail. Now I'm going to tell you folks this. You're going to fail workouts. Failing a workout is a badge of honor because you don't always get to have a breakthrough. If you do, you're underestimating your potential and your signature. Okay? And so... He was ready to throw in the towel after four or five of these. Well, guess what? We reset the goal, and this is what coaching can do for you. The coach is the one who can see this. The bot doesn't see this. And so we did not stop. We resumed and went right back into a yellow 
threshold intensity and look at the difficulty score. It continued to rise. And that's the whole point. He got a very effective training dose out of this by not completing goal number one and instead falling back into goal number two. And look at where his MPA stayed. Look at the range. That is a nice, healthy, suppressed, not depressed, this is depressed, but a suppressed MPA. And the son of a gun went out and got 118 points. Now his three week running chronic load is uh, 94, so we pulled it up. Okay, this was a strainful workout. And when we go back and we look at what this did, we raised his, oops, wrong person. We raised his, let me see here, is it there? Nope. Is it there? Nope. Is it there? Nope. All right. Long story short, we raised his threshold by two points. We raised his HIE by a full kilojoule, and we raised his peak power by about 25 watts. You can check it out yourself. Go call him. Now, let's look at the exact same workout. Here's another situation. This is Carla. She's a Southern French uh, uh, expat. And what she's got is, once again, we never even tried to do a breakthrough with her on this, but we ran and got into a suppressed and then a depressed MPA, and she went through almost an hour of these. She got a nice, healthy strain score. She had a good day at the office. And if we look, this is kind of interesting. I'm running out of time here. Right over here, this lady has a threshold of 158 watts. Well, guess what? For 23 minutes, her XEP was 158 watts. Pretty freaking cool. That's why I like to do uh, biats. That's why I like to do workouts that don't necessarily achieve breakthroughs because you don't need to break through every time you throw a leg over the bike. Go do your suppressed MPA intervals. Go get your focus. Go work on your polarized training in general. And you can do that in as little as six hours a week, by the way. And go have fun. Because I guarantee you, you're going to be up with, with riders. And when you start doing some of this stuff out in the real world, you're going to have a lot more fun because cycling is a stochastic activity. Go look at any wattage uh, uh, profile from any ride and I'll guarantee you it will have areas where it will look like the, the, the Richter scale on the Santa Monica earthquake. That's it for the day. Enjoy the ride.